I was able to pick up some SRXs, uh, 815s to be exact, and I wanted to hook them up with the wireless router so that way I can control them to the Connect app. Coming to find out there wasn't much information on it and when I did get it up and running some of the speakers was having connectivity issues. Some of the speakers needed a firmware update so what we're going to do is do the firmware update. Which first thing we need is a router. I have my old one here so this is what we're using. So I'm using my Apple one. Of course you need some Cat5 cables. Since I'm running Apple I have my iPad right here so we're gonna go ahead and uh, create a network. Once you go ahead and open up your airport utility you're gonna create a wireless network which is the first one I named mine JBL because that's what it is. I made my password and everything and that's it we're done. Everything should be automatic. We're gonna go ahead uh, put this to the side because that's done. That's configured already. It's, that's that's a too simple process. That's it. That's done. So now we have to go ahead and download the audio architect from JBL. Once you have that, you're gonna get something like this. This is key. Um, you're gonna be able to leave your wires plugged in your cat fives leave your speakers plugged in and it's gonna ask you if you want it to automatically locate your speakers click yes make it simpler once that's done you will recognize them pick them up then there's a firmware update on here now if you have any presets on there saved back them up and it tells me you hit OK you're gonna get this screen then of course you click on it tap on it tap on updates and you should be good to go and then I'll tell you on the bottom right here begin update once everything is connected your wireless router is up and running your speakers are connected you have done the firmware update now you can go ahead and open up the SRX connect now on mine I already had them before, so you get your eight bands. You can do foot one, play with it, do all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, and make it sound however you want it to sound. Um, and then save it, save your show, save it to whatever it is you want it called. Um, uh, so that's done. Uh, take your EQ away and you can do individual inputs you can do pink noise and of course minus 100 and it goes up so you can hear on the speakers uh, the sound is actually traveling through the cat5 cable uh, so you could do that and I could turn them off uh, the hardest part, like I said, is configuring the wireless, and then uh, I'm sure everybody's played with uh, the Airstream DMX. That's another thing. Uh, but hopefully, this has given you some insight on the JBL Connect, how to run it, how to set it up. Like I said, um, if you need anything, feel free to ask. Peace.